News from the street, 919FM.com. Here's what's happening. Good afternoon, I am Chanel Webb with the news on the street, 919 FM. In the headlines, a one-year-old baby dies in a house fire. Duke says there is no reconciliation with Farley. A U.S. citizen robbed and stripped naked on Nelson Street after meeting a stranger. Miss Grand TNT heads the pageant in Vietnam. And internationally, the warmest September on a record shocks data scientists. And now the news in detail. The community of Egypt Trace Extension in Devachagornas was thrown into mourning yesterday after one-year-old Haley Passard died at a fire at a family's residence. The heart-wrenching event occurred while little Haley was asleep in the bedroom after the fire erupted shortly after 11 a.m. Haley's parents, both farmers and her grandparents, rushed to her assistance but tragically were too late to save her. Desperate cries for help echoed throughout the neighborhood, prompted their neighbor Bobby Ramtahal and his brother and other residents to attempt a rescue, but their courageous efforts were unsuccessful. Ramtahal was injured during the rescue attempt. I guess go, and go for my fire exchange. A few neighbors bring some on also, but that I was unable to take off the fire. And um try a hole in the crib, but you cannot see nothing in the room. But if I get a little burn and I'll try going in. Little Holly's grandfather, Dear Saran Passat, heard the infant cry only once as the thick smoke enveloped the entire room where she lay. Smiling with me right through. Took her, put her to bed. I was just about to leave to go out when the wife bawled out. Fire, you know. And, um, when I reached to the door there, I realized the room was on fire. I made about three or four attempts to get into the room to, to bring on the child because that was my first priority. Harley's mother was also injured while attempting to rescue her daughter. She remained at her hospital last night while her husband was treated and discharged. Shagonis East MP Vadana Moet visited the family but did not get to speak to the child's parents as they had already been taken to the hospital. Which never have any ground so far from the family and what transpired today? Well, first of all, I want to say this is a very, very tragic incident which took place here today. Uh, earlier on at about 11, from what I'm told, uh, the house caught a fire. Um, you know, residents would have tried their very best to save the baby, but unfortunately they were unable to. But I want to really commend those guys at the same time for what they have done. It's a really sad situation. I know this family very well. Uh, what I can say is it has already happened, but we will be here with them standing all the way. Shagonis Mayor Faik Mohammed also visited the family and expressed concern about the increasing number of tragic incidents involving children from drowning to house fires. Political leader of the Progressive Democratic Patriots, Watson Duke says he and THA Chief Secretary Fali Augustin have decided to put their differences aside for the benefit of Tobago and to better save its citizens. According to Duke, both he and Augustin have come to a truce. He made these statements while speaking to members of the media during a press conference on, well, on Wednesday held at the PDP's headquarters in Port Moal, Scarborough. However, Duke made it clear that he and Augustine had not reconciled. There is no reconciliation. What we have here now, he has to speak on the matter. As I said, he speak glibly behind closed doors, nicely behind closed doors, but he has his own mind, own thinking. So you all should speak to him on that. However, what I took from the meeting is a chief secretary who heard my call for putting Tobago first and let's build this economy by encouraging foreign investors to bring money into the country. That's the only way the economy can go if we add to what the government has given. All right? We have to add to it. And to add to it, 
we have to have persons willing to bring money to Bego to do investment. Money that they're not looking for a loan, no loan. Bring money and develop an economy in Tobago that is not there. According to Duke, Augustine, who is currently in France, is expected to speak about the agreement upon his return. Last month, Duke had called for a reconciliation with Augustine. In an open letter titled A Renewed Call for Unity to Augustine, Duke emphasized the need to prioritize the welfare of Tobagonians and therefore to put aside personal differences for the sake of the island's future. We now head on over to Shinaka Phipps with the sports report. Thank you, Chanel Webb. Good afternoon. I'm Chanaka Phipps with your sports report. On top of sports today, Defense force of the fallen soldiers, Simone Biles has done it again, and a unique change for World Cup 2030. To start off sports, one really couldn't afford defense force for effort despite the Trinidad and Tobago champions falling to an unlucky 2-0 defeat to Mocha FC of the Dominican Republic at the Hazley Crawford Stadium Wednesday night. A first defeat of the series ended the CONCACAF Caribbean club championship campaign for defense force after surviving a first half onslaught mocha won through two second half goals the opening item coming through forward gustavo ascona in the 64th minute while ronaldo de pina made it 2-0 against the run of play in the fifth minute of the second half added on time and it's turned over and now a chance to put this to bed With that result as the 2023 TNT Premier Football League champions, Defence Force, five points ended Group A of the championship in third trailing Mocha, nine points, and Jamaica's Cavalier FC, ten points. Cavalier won the group after defeating Markney Ch champions Golden Lion, 5-2 on Wednesday. Only the top two advance to the next round. In further sports, Simone Biles and her teammates were far from perfect and yet nothing could stand in the way of a victory that set a record for both the U.S. women's team and the greatest gymnast in history. The U.S. women earned a record seven consecutive team title at the Gymnastics World Championship on Wednesday night. For Biles, it was also her 33rd major championship medal across the world and Olympics to make her the most decorated female gymnast ever. And it's fitting that it came in Antwerp, the Belgian port city where Biles came to international prominence 10 years ago by winning her first world title in 2013. It wasn't Team USA's best day, Biles said. It's crazy we still pulled it out, so I'm really, really proud of the team. More international news, Geneva, a unique 2030 World Cup is set to be played in Europe and Africa with the surprising addition of South America in a deal to allow the men's football tournament to start with a 100th birthday party in Uruguay. FIFA reached an agreement Wednesday between football's continental leaders to accept only one candidate for hosting the 2030 tournament in the six countries the sports governing body said the spain portugal bid grew to add morocco this year and now also includes long-term bid rivals argentina paraguay and uruguay all six national teams will get automatic entry to the 48 team tournament fifa said a key law of the unprecedented three content continent, continent project is being able to open in the Uruguayan capital of Montevideo where the Contenero Stadium hosted the inaugural 1930 World Cup final. 
and that's all for your sports do enjoy your day now back to you chanel In other news, a 25-year-old New York man was robbed of his cash and a rental SUV when he went to visit a stranger he had met on a mobile dating app on Tuesday night. According to reports, the man drove to Upper Nelson Street in his MG SUV at around 7.30 p.m. and parked the vehicle near the apartment buildings. He then met someone who identified themselves as being the person from the app who led him through an alley where he was confronted by five men who beat him and stole his cell phone, a bag containing $300 cash and his U.S. credit cards. They also stole the keys to the SUV. The bandits then stripped the man naked before driving off. He then ran along Nelson Street where he was held by a passerby and made a report. Officers at the Bessel Street Police Station later found the vehicle abandoned on Picton Road, Laventil. In more news, just days after she succeeded former Venezuelan holder Milady Matarano, Rebecca Hislop, the new Miss Grand International TNT, left for Vietnam yesterday afternoon. Before her departure, she assured TNT that she was mentally focused and would represent the country in the best way she could. Matarano stepped down last week because of alleged sponsorship issues. In an interview at the Piaco International Airport, Heslop revealed that hours before her departure, Matarano sent her best wishes. Although she said she had only six days to prepare for Vietnam, she said, I am focused on what is before me. I am focused on my poise, my grace, and my kindness going forward, and I hope that that is all. Despite any noise, when I'm in Vietnam, I can stay focused. She said she had been shocked to find out that she was taking over the title, but said her last-minute preparations had been amazing. His club said she received sponsorship for everything, her clothes, makeup, accessories, flight, stay and meals with support from franchise holders, Stolen Productions Limited. His club left on a KLM flight from Port of Spain to Amsterdam, then to France and finally to Vietnam. Later this month, she will be joined in Vietnam by SPL officials. Now internationally, the world September temperatures were the warmest on record, breaking the previous high by a huge margin, according to the EU Climate Service. Last month was 0.92 degrees Celsius warmer than the average September temperature between 1991 and 2020, and 0.5% hotter than the previous record set in 2020. Ongoing emissions and warming gases, in addition to the El Nino weather event, are driving the heat, experts believe. Some scientists said they were shocked by the scale of the increase. They say 2023 is on track to become the warmest on record. September's high marks come September's high mark comes in the wake of the hottest summer on record in the northern hemisphere as soaring temperatures show no signs of relenting. The data from the Copernicus Climate Change Service shows that demand had the biggest jump from the long-term average in records dating back to 1940. Scientists have been quite shocked by some of the detail in the data. This month was, in my professional opinion, as a climate scientist, absolutely gobsmackingly bananas. Zeke Howe's father, an experienced researcher, wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter. We now head on over to the weather report with Kyle Kamabach. Thank you, Chanel. Today in Trinidad, we'll have cloudy to overcast conditions with intermittent showers and extended periods of light rain in most areas. There is a medium to high chance of fewer thunderstorms. Similar conditions are expected overnight. 
but with a few subtle periods. Gusty winds and street flash flooding are likely in the event of heavy downpours. We are still experiencing a yellow level weather alert, so be careful, walk with your umbrellas. Last night's minimum temperature in Piapo was 25 degrees Celsius and in Crown Point, 26 degrees Celsius. Today's max forecasted temperature is 30 degrees Celsius in Piaco and 30 degrees Celsius in Crown Point. Our waves can reach up to 2 meters in open waters but fly below 1 meter in sheltered areas. And in international news, Tropical Storm Felipe continues to fight adverse atmospheric conditions as it begins to trek north of the Caribbean. Meteorologists who have been tracking Felipe since mid-September, days before an organized system developed, says the storm will travel near 2,000 miles to the north, where it could strike Maine with heavy rain, strong winds and, and storm surge this weekend. Thank you, my name is Carl Kamabach. That was your weather report on the Street 919 FM and back to you, Chanel. Hey you, it's me, Sean, Sean D. It's time to break free from the ordinary with two new flavors from Shandy Carib. Uncap the exotic taste of dragon fruit or indulge in the luscious bliss of lychee. Any day, anytime, any kind of lime. With Shandy Carib, it's always a good time. Now available for a limited time only. Since they were on sale, Laura bought these umbrella shoes without thinking. Literally, without thinking. Hungry for deals? You'd better come and satisfy it at KFC before doing something crazy. Wow Bucket, seven pieces of chicken and four regular sides for $115. A finger licking good deal. Recapping the headlines, a one-year-old baby dies in a house fire. Duke says there is no reconciliation with Farley. A U.S. citizen robbed and stripped naked on Nelson Street after meeting a stranger. Ms. Grand TNT heads the pageant in Vietnam. And the warmest September temperature on record shocks data scientists. Good afternoon and that was the news on the Street 919 FM. News from the Street. News from the Street. 919FM.com.